the hallmark of a great vineyard. Its signature and its character speaks louder than the vintage year, the person that made it, the barrels that you put it in. And that's something you can't say about a lot of vineyards. The wines from here are really unlike anything else in the world, so we, we do our best to sort of foster that voice. If you have really fine grapes that have complexity, you can make some of the finest wines that actually reflect not your idea of what you want in the bottle, but what the vineyard produces. That, for our winemaking, is at the heart of the matter. You couldn't get airdropped into this place and have somebody say, hey, farm these vineyards and make wine. It'd be catastrophic. It's kind of high performance farming. You've got the fog, you've got heat waves, you've got rain that comes during the harvest. All the different types of weather that we experience here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. You have to have uh, nerves of steel. Some years the fog settles below us, some years we're in the fog. It creates a condition where we really have vintage wines. Every year sort of tells its particular story and how the wine tastes. If you tasted one of our single vineyard wines in a vertical setting where you're tasting year after year after year, you're going to notice the same wine, but sort of through the lens of different vintages. of a vertical isolation. We feel like we're really far away. We're right above Silicon Valley, so uh, there's the heart of the tech industry, and we're up here with the tractors and the vines. The best part about being a winemaker is romance. If you can make it romantic, you're doing a good job. For those inexpensive Vin Ordinaire wines, it's more mechanized and it's more industrial. And that's not what the Santa Cruz Mountains is all about. It's so hilly that our mechanization is limited. A lot of the wheat control is by hand. Everything is harvested by hand. We don't manage the vineyards on our computers. We put hands and eyes on the vines. It's the cooler climate and the firm acid and the minerality from the limestone that really give us the character of Montebello. Those are the things that are different here than in many regions. To me, I'm fascinated by the interaction of how wine can tell a story about where it's from. There are a lot of great restaurants in the world that you could pick up and it wouldn't matter where you dropped them. These restaurants don't interest me. They don't tell the story of who they are and where they are. So those are the two questions that I ask myself about every decision that we make, whether it's a new dish in the menu or the color of a necktie that a server is wearing at the table. The Santa Cruz Mountain Wine Appellation is very well represented on our list. When we have people come from out of state and out of country, they want local wines, and I really do think that they're expecting something from Napa. And we take great pride of place in showing them this small little appellation that is off everybody's radar screen. Such small producers and so quality oriented. That's what we pour and minds are blown. I think 10 years ago, everybody in California was kind of trying to make the same wine. And I think now people are really interested in the uniqueness of site and place. And that, to me, is one of the things that make the Santa Cruz Mountains so special, is that there is a voice and a distinction to the sites.